Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Run. I've been having the best time these past few days just seeing how differently people choose to play through Dark Souls. This game has such a varied level design that there's hundreds of different paths you can take right from the very beginning. This video is of course going to be about Grave Lords, but first of all I'm going to share what I've been doing for context. I decided to get the game on PC and PS4 this time. I'm focusing on my PC playthroughs first, before the game gets overrun with filthy hackers. So this is my PC character. I decided I'm going to craft a build focusing on dexterity and faith. Eventually, my goal was that I want to have the Sunlight Blade weapon buff, along with some powerful high level miracles, and then I have a specific dexterity weapon I have in mind. This is usually how I focus my playthroughs. I'll have a loose end goal, and then just slowly piece together my character, depending on what I'm doing at the time. But before we even get started on the whole journey, the best thing ever happened to me this time. I entered the Undead Berg, the typical first area most people go to right away, so I was literally level 7 and someone was gravelording the area straight away. This is day 1 of the release. But it gets strange. I quickly equipped some firebombs just because I was a pathetic level 7 with no way to defend myself really. I then found three other blue phantoms who had been gravelorded as well, but where's the host? Where is this cheeky gravelord who's infected all of us? The reason why this covenant is in use so much at the moment is because it never used to work, to be honest. But now it works, and it's on steroids. For those who are a bit curious as to how the Gravelord Covenant works, here's the gist. Covenant members can use an Eye of Death to curse other players' worlds, whether they're human or not. If you happen to be a player who becomes infected, you'll encounter new, very powerful and very dangerous Black Phantom versions of the enemies in your area. But that is only if you're in New Game Plus, so on your second playthrough or higher. If it's your first playthrough, you won't see these elite enemies, but you'll still be able to enter the Grave Lord's world through their sign and try and kill them. This sign is black and white and it will initially appear right where the host places it, but every 10 to 20 seconds it will drift further along the level. So if it disappears, don't worry, just keep looking and you should find it again. So this world I'm in has just become a factory for infected blue phantoms. I mean, you can see for yourself, it doesn't take long to search the small area we're confined to and realise the host isn't there. So people are giving up and black crystalling out, or they just fly away and become angels. I don't have any live commentary for this video by the way because I was just playing and listening to music at the time but at this point I promise I 100% thought the game had glitched and this fog wall here shouldn't, shouldn't be there and that the host was on the other side further up the level. I've known how the covenant works but this was honestly one of the first times I'd ever encountered it just because as I said it never used to work properly so I just assumed this was a case of the game messing up somehow. We had become stuck in this one area separate from where the host was. Keep in mind, I was in this area for ages. I think hundreds of players were constantly entering and leaving. It wasn't just me confused, literally no one had any idea what was going on. So I was about to leave. I was genuinely about a minute away from Black Crystalling out. But then all of a sudden, I found him. Yes, I'm making this as dramatic as possible, but I'm actually quite proud of myself for this. Just a few bored attempts to jump up the stairs. I was half wondering whether it's possible to get up there. A slight camera twist and bam. There was the cheeky scumbag. Completely AFK, just not moving. He knows he's safe. Long story short, I spent 20 minutes trying to jump up those stupid stairs and I couldn't do it. <laughs> if anyone could do it, don't send me proof because I might cry. I'm still not sure how we got up there, although I have a few ideas, because to get on his level, you need to have jumped from the opposite building across onto the ramp, but we couldn't get to that side because of the fog wall blocking us. Anyway, I had to really squeeze out my brain here to come up with a plan. I 
couldn't let this guy bamboozle all these clueless blue phantoms. Justice had to be served somehow, so since I couldn't get up to him, I had to try and strike him with the AoE from my firebombs. Now, I wasn't sure if I had enough to actually kill him, and I didn't want to get him to low health, run out of firebombs, and then he'd realise he'd been found and he might escape. So I tried to communicate with my fellow blue summons. I don't think voice chat works in this game, which is quite annoying, I couldn't talk to anyone, but I waited until a fresh batch of curious blue phantoms came in to see what I was doing, and while they were hopefully looking, I started chucking my firebombs, and the rest is history. I had another encounter with a Grave Lord, and I recorded that one too, and it's just as hilarious. Invading into a world with three other blue friends immediately is such a cool feeling. It's like you've all been infected, you're all here for revenge, the same purpose. It's just such a unique meeting event. Anyway, I should have been more prepared since this was my second time. I should have been expecting something sneaky. Yeah, I think the host was hiding under the bridge and every time an infected player arrived, they just ran across, which triggered the Hellkite Drake's fire attack. If it hits you when you're unprotected in the center of the bridge, you're done. Even if you're not that close to the bridge, as I thought, you still need to be careful. I did not manage to defeat this player. He did outsmart me. I love this concept though. This type of invasion is not even a test of skill necessarily. It's often like a puzzle. But you gotta find out how the Grave Lord is using the level to his advantage and beat him at his own game. I don't know about you, but I like it. I think it switches things up, adds a little spice. You kind of got a sneak peek into what I'm making, how I'm creating this character here. But in the next video, I'm gonna show my progress properly. I'm gonna show you how to actually join the Grave Lord Covenant and everything to do with how I'm making this build. So for now, I wanna hear how your adventures are going how is a new player experience? If you're new, let me know. How's it going? And have you encountered any cheeky grave lords? See you in the next video.